Good morning. It is the 15th of March, 27 minutes past six, and it's the start of the third week of the Millennial Contractor. Let me give you an update on what we're going to do. We have to get this roof on. We still have to build the wall behind this wall for the toilet. We need to get this rubble down and we need to get the formwork that was stripped on Friday back to the renting company. That formwork still needs to be cleaned. This needs to be taken down as I said. This internal wall has all been built. Bed, bedside table, bedside table going around. Built in cupboards, built in cupboards. All of this plaster needs to be removed. We need to still brick up that little piece over there. That wall needs to be built. That wall needs to be built. So we've got a lot of work this week. There is some rain expected on Saturday and Sunday. Saturday about 6 millimeters, and then Sunday 17.6. So we have to get this roof on. What we need to do is we need to take some tiles on that existing roof back. Then we need to put this first girder on. If this truss is on, we can then span a fish line all the way through probably about four or five trusses in that way so we can get that line and this new line in a line so guys it's gonna be a busy week from here I'm quickly gonna pop into the flat extension there we are casting that little slab in the front at the garage then we're gonna start probably building tomorrow on top of that slab so we can get that brickwork done so we can get all the plastering done and we can go down to the extension and start plastering there. As far as I understand, the plumber and electrician first fixes all done, so we can plaster internal, we can plaster external, roof is finished, as soon as we've got all the plastering done, we can put the ceiling in. So it's going to be a good week, hopefully a very productive week, um, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Have a lack of one. Just drive back on site. Roof trusses are going extremely well. We've got all the roof trusses on on this big section of the building. The guys are just putting the little bit of trusses that's going over the bathroom. Once we've got all of that trusses up, we're going to start with the brand ring. Brand ring needs to go in to be able to keep the tiles that we're obviously getting coming on Thursday. I'm trying my best to see if we can get it on Wednesday because of the rain on Friday but we, we're expecting the tiles to be on site on Thursday. We're going to have a team then putting the brand ring on and now after that we put the trusses on now we can start with the beam filling. The beam filling is basically between the trusses on the external needs to be built up to the underside of the brand ring and that will obviously allow air not to be able to come through. So that will go between every single truss. That batten that you're seeing that the trusses are lying on, that's called a wall plate. Wall plate is basically just now to keep the underside of the truss nice and level. And then your roof wire will then be binded around the trusses as explained in previous videos. That's an update for 
the first floor extension and I'll give you an update a little bit later as soon as we're ready. Hello.
Good morning. It is the 16th of March. No, it's not. It's the 17th of March. I completely forgot to do an intro to yesterday, but I've got all the work that we have completed. It is now 6.49. Let me quickly show you what we've done. New trusses on the new build is up. We're busy with isolation and brandering because the tiles are expected to arrive tomorrow. Hopefully they said Thursday, but they might be they might have a gap open so that they can deliver Tomorrow that will be good. It is raining No rain was expected for today, but it is what it is and we can only work with what we've got That roof over on that side is done. We still need to finish up this isolation here the branding this isolation on that side and also the branding Nando's the builder is busy with this little wall We've opened up that little window over there, so we still need to brick up this piece over here and finish up this wall here. Then all the brickwork is done in the first floor extension. So the guys will be completing the roof today. Hopefully we receive the tiles. As soon as the tiles we get on, we're going to put them on the roof. And then as soon as that's on, we're going to start stripping the old roof where the slate tiles are on. That's also coming off. We need to take off the brand ring because obviously the brand ring is not in the same spacings as for the tile that we're getting so that one must we must take off we must strip all the, uh, the slate off all the brand ring and put the new m22 slate on top of that roof <laughs> It's a first floor extension. It is absolute mayhem with the electricians on site. They're obviously busy chasing all of the walls that they need to chase into in order to put the new plaque. So it's obviously existing walls that they need to chase into. I'm going to show you up there. It's a more of a noise, but I'll quickly go show you guys what we're doing up there. Just the, from this angle over here, I'm standing on the tennis court just due, due to the to the noise. But you can see the trusses are going on. That's side over there we're going to put fascia boards on and then it's going to be a gutter all the way running there and then obviously with a few downpipes that overhang there we're not sure of how far that overhang is from this side of the building but we can always then just trim back to put our verge um, flashing on it's going to be tiles and not um, obviously fiber cement board so all good of March it's just past half past six in the morning update roof trusses are done battens are done isolation is done what we need to do today is do the beam filling the beam filling is all of that little spaces between the trusses where we need to brick on the external one course up to the underside of the tile so that obviously there's no air or critters that can enter that needs to be done today. We also need to finish up the brickwork. First thing today is beam filling, then we do the internal brickwork because that's not holding anything up. After we've done that, tiles are arriving. I've got no idea, they can't give me a time of when the tiles are arriving, but as soon as that arrives, we're gonna start putting on tiles. Probably the whole day we're gonna put these tiles on. If we get completed with the tiles, we're gonna start taking off the slate tiles that we've got on the existing roof taking that off, changing the battens, putting on the new tiles over there. 
hard hat, safety first. Probably thinking, why are you only wearing a hard hat now and not a hard hat prior? It's due, just due to the fact that once we start stuffing, you know, stuff above our heads, I always wear a hard hat. All of this plaster has also been removed on this wall and on this wall over here. What you guys also can see is that the chase work in for all of the light switches and the plug has been installed. So we've got a plug over there. That's where the TV is going to be with data over that side. So TV on this wall with power for bedside tables. We've got a power plug over there. All the light switches has been moved from a stand to, to a standard height because it was way above. So that's all been removed. And we've got some more plugs over there, light switches over there. That bathroom, as I mentioned yesterday, is not 100% completed yet, but we'll get it done today. <music> What choice? <laughs> it's just me to put Daga like this in there. Oh. Uh. Good morning, 19th of March, quarter to seven, at the first door extension. Tiles are up here today, not the right tiles. Client wanted a greyish tile, as we saw in previous videos, black tiles arrived. Sent them back, so hopefully we will receive the tiles this morning. In the meantime, we will be continuing with the beam filling. As soon as the beam filling is done, we can then start packing roof tiles on. Looks like weather has changed. We're not expecting any rain for today or tomorrow, but we're gonna see rain on Sunday. But it's not a problem because we've got our isolation on, so the water will flow on the isolation over the next overlap, over the next to the exterior of the building. Monday is a public holiday, so we won't have a video on Monday, but the video will be this video will be out on Sunday. Ah, 
Just got back from both sites. Update on both sites. We started with the tiling at the first floor extension. That went well. The roof is finished. We need to do valleys at um, on the roof. Also popped into the flatlet extension. There we've casted the slab and that front little extension for the extra garage and also the extra entrance. And we also continued with the plastering at the back. We will show you what we have completed um, next week. Remember, Monday is a public holiday, so no video on Monday. Uh, but this video, week three, will be out on Sunday. So guys, if you enjoyed, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.